so during project egg roll when we had tom on this past weekend we talked about the whole japanese people who are speaking up against racism in uh in for our uh, assassin's creed shadow right and we talked about the video and it was like a 26 minute video about um uh, this youtuber talking about it and he came up uh there's a follow-up video that he made so i do want to talk about it here uh it says the truth of yasuke and dei marketing so i want to check that out right so i here. posted a video that i was talking about why a lot of japanese are protesting new assassin creed game and i think the video was pretty successful to convey my idea i got a lot of the comment supporting what a lot of Japanese are talking about. The video got more likes than Japanese official Japanese trailer of Assassin's Creed. Damn. And I really appreciate people who support us and showing understanding. Yellow flash, it's there it really is. really meaningful to us. But also, I still get these comments saying, it's just game or you don't know the meaning of historical fiction. Look this. This is interview from the Ubisoft, I think director for xbox we are showing real historical figures and a lot of events that happened during at that time so you are not only playing in feudal japan but learning about this fantastic time period that's not acceptable since they have a lot of doing like wrong stuff about describing japan and a lot of misinformation but they're saying you can learn about this fantastic time period learning about fantastic <laughs> time period so here's the thing um i, I talked about it right and they're like oh was a big deal it's just a game why why is it a big deal was a big deal it's just a game why are you so mad why are you talking about it why are you pointing it out and i and my response is if it wasn't a big deal then why change it to begin with right if it wasn't a big deal to begin with, why mess with it? Why change it? And the thing is that it's not your, it's not your culture and it's not your, um, it's, it's like you have what Ubisoft Japan, who's basically a part of it to make sure like the, all the, the, you know, maybe the, the localization is correct. Right. And, and, and you know, and then, but mo the dev studio is actually located in France. But yo, the coconut, thank you so much for the gift of membership, man. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you. Uh, but yeah, uh, going back to this, it's it, this would have been a home run, right? This would have been a slam dunk for you guys, but you guys did not stick to landing. Assassin, Shinobi, Ninja. It writes itself, right? But that, but talking about this is a historical fantasy. Right, it's like, oh, why you you guys were you got? Did you guys get mad that the Pope had superpowers in the other Assassin's Creed? Maybe, maybe some people did, but the fact that Japanese people are speaking up, Japanese people are pointing it out, saying that they're not happy with it. They're not saying that there's anything wrong with Yasuke being there, right? But the fact that calling Yasuke a samurai, the fact that having Naoe, who's a Wakonuichi, and there isn't. It technically wasn't really female ninjas back in the day. There were assassins, females, female assassins, but not female ninjas. So, and then it's like, and then the Americans or the, the French people or whoever Ubisoft is basically saying, they're basically saying, you guys don't know what you guys are talking about. Let us, the non-Japanese people, indoctrinate your culture, put in our takes, what we think of the Japanese culture, and if you are Japanese and you say otherwise, then you are the racist one, right? Calling it out, pointing it out, you are racist. Why is it, why is it like that? Why is it that every company, whenever people actually have legitimate criticisms, pointing shit out that you are saying, if you don't like it, then you guys are racists. If you don't like it is because you guys hate black people. That's absolutely bull crap right absolutely bull crap right I'm, I'm a catholic i think i would love the people sorry the pope having superpowers and would be so cool but this isn't adding to the japanese culture but we're white but rewriting it and trying to ignore the japanese themselves exactly that's how it is right that's how they that, that that's usually what they do they're they're basically op oppressing right 
oppress and suppress people that don't agree with you and and basically crush the Japanese voices down and bring up whatever bull crap that they're trying to spin, right? They're basically saying that this is our samurai, right? We talked about it before. This is our samurai, not your samurai. This is our samurai, and this is garbage. And then if you actually go onto Wikipedia, it's no longer there, right? Um, I believe this guy talked about it in his previous video saying that uh, Yasuke was a samurai, and we actually checked it on Project Egg Roll this past Saturday, and it's not there, right? The, uh, the, the word samurai, uh, Yasuke being a samurai is no longer there, right? But let's continue to, with this video. I am just... So I want to make it clear statement about the biggest point about this topic. We are protesting marketing DEIs, historical distortion stemming from their disregard for Asians and their arrogance and discriminatory responses to protest from Japan. It said like diversity, equality, what was it? Illusion. So in this video, I'm going to talk about their biggest attempt to distort history of Japan. That is the legendary samurai they claim yep. Yasuke. But reality is, look this, these are all documents we can find about Yasuke. So I'm going to explain who Yasuke really was and what he really did. So the document here, Ietara's diary. So Ietara is samurai at the time and that's his diary. So I'm going to let AI read. He was taken under the care of Nobunaga and given the name Yasuke. He was granted a residence and given personal items. From time to time, he was also entrusted with Nobunaga's tools and belongings, carrying them for him. So it shows what he was doing to Nobunaga. The next one is Chronicles of Lord Nobunaga. Lord Nobunaga provided support to a black man who was presented to him by missionaries. His skin was as black as ink, and he was about 1.82 meters tall. His name was Yasuke. So in this case, support meaning Fuchi. It might be a place to live, or people said short sword, or even just rice. And the next one is g Sweat Annual Reports of Japan. It's written by Portuguese missionary at the time. So some part are not very comfortable to listen. On the Monday following Easter, Nobunaga was in the capital. A commotion arose as many people wanted to see the black slave, leading to injuries and near fatalities from thrown stones. Observers speculated that showcasing the black slave for a fee could easily raise significant funds. Nobunaga invited him to his presence, causing quite a stir, and confirmed his skin color was natural. Nobunaga's sons were also pleased, and Nobunaga's nephew, the commander in Osaka, rewarded him with ten kanmon. The priest accompanied a black slave, and since no one in the capital had ever seen a black slave before, countless people came to see him. Right. Nobunaga himself was amazed, confirming that his skin color was natural and not painted, and stared at him. The man understood some Japanese, so Nobunaga talked with him endlessly. So it looks like based off this writing, Nobunaga basically was so intrigued with Yasuke, wasn't because, maybe because he was a tall black dude, but it was more because he was black. So he basically bought him, or they, he was given Yasuke, and it seems like he was paraded around town so people could look at him like a, like a property. It's like, look, take a look at this guy. This guy is a, uh, no one's ever seen this type of guy before, right? So, when does Nobunaga, according to Ubisoft, make him a samurai? I want to see that, right? I want to see when does Nobunaga make him a samurai? Or maybe it was stolen valor. Let's continue. Impressed by his strength and some art skills, Nobunaga was very pleased decided to protect him okay, there it is. and assigned guards to escort him around the city. 
right. some rumored that Nobunaga would make him a lord. The black slave given to Nobunaga by the visitor went to the residence of Nobunaga's heir after Nobunaga's death and fought for quite a long time. An Akechi retainer approached him and told him to surrender his sword without fear, so he handed it over. When the retainer asked Mitsuhide how to handle Yasuk, Mitsuhide replied, The black slave is like an animal and knows nothing. Damn. And since he is not Japanese, do not kill him. Instead, he ordered, place him in the church of the Indian Padre. I really wish he hasn't said that, but yeah. so in this case, people say Indian Padre might be Nanzenji. There's a temple located in Kyoto. And this is all about Yasuke. This is all written text about Yasuke. And there's a painting about black men doing some small with the Japanese, yeah. but we are not sure if there's Yasuke or not. To be honest, I was really disappointed and I felt really sad that when I found Yasuke wasn't samurai, you know? I think mm -hmm. I, I believe most people are, but the fact is there's no document saying Yasuke there it is. was a samurai. There's no document. And some people say Bushi, she, he was Bushi. I mean, Bushi means warrior. Bushi and Samurai are different. Yep. For some reasons in Wikipedia or Google translation, if I typed Bushi, it just go to Samurai, but they're different. Samurai is social class and Bushi meaning just a warrior. But how that happened? How Yasuke became the legendary Samurai? So there's a Japanese YouTuber talking about this. So I'm gonna just translate what he was saying. All right. It began with Wikipedia. A lot of the stuff you see on Twitter, YouTube, and online... Always Wikipedia, man. Here's the thing, though. They, the fact that people can go in and change Wikipedia at any time, it's sort of garbage, right? It's sort of how they change Wikipedia, right? When they go inside and change uh, Kiadi Mundi's um, birth date to match the TV show of Acolyte. Wikipedia is not a good source to use, even though there are sources on the bottom. It's not a very good source. And that's the reason why when you're in college and whenever you use Wikipedia as your, your source cited, it, Wikipedia is never approved, right? The teachers will never approve it because it's not, it's not factually correct, right? You can go to Wikipedia and put in that I have a 10 inch penis, which is, will be absolutely incorrect. Right. So, but the thing is that if I, anyone, anyone can go on to Wikipedia, you know, I, you, you get a member and then you basically sign up and you get, you get all your, your, your whatever credentials ready to go. And then you, and you can go inside and change stuff. Right. You can have a wiki by yourself and it could be completely lie. Her, it was 11. Yes. It was actually 11 inches. Articles actually comes from Wikipedia, but a lot of that information was wrong. It all goes back to October 22, 2012. Someone added a sentence to Wikipedia that said, when Nobunaga was convinced that this person really had dark skin, he valued him highly, named him Iyasuke, and kept him close. This sentence wasn't true and caused a lot of confusion. Then on June 14, 2013, someone changed the Wikipedia article again. Yep. It now said he was officially made a bushy a warrior. See, that's the reason. Close. See, that's the reason why you don't you don't trust wikipedia because it changes constantly and you can go down you can scroll down to see like the history of like what happened yeah 12 foot long yeah not 12 not 11 inches 12 foot long change many people think that yasuke become a samurai and that's how the legend of yasuke the black samurai was born the next day on june 15 another line was added to the wikipedia article it said nobunaga liked yasuke so much that he intended to make him a lord in the future in just one day yasuke had been promoted to a future lord Damn. but this was completely false so from 2012 to 2024 yasuke was indeed considered a samurai on the internet then something interesting happened on january 25 2017 Thomas Lockley, an associate professor at Nihon University, published a book called Nobunaga and Yasuke. Later, on May 2, 2019, the same author released Iyasuke, the true story of the legendary African samurai. What a liar. First samurai, and his astonishing journey from Northeast Africa to the heights of Japanese society. This book was actually co-authored by Lockley and another writer. It's a 400-page novel, and most of it is fiction. Yeah. Of course, it makes sense. There are probably only 
only about two pages worth of material on Yasuke, so if you're asked to turn a minor character's life into a 400-page novel, you have to exaggerate a lot. Yeah, basically, they are writing fan fiction to heighten up a specific character. I don't know why they do that, right? I don't know, I don't know why the hell people actually like... Well, people love lying in general, and, and they, 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 they like making things more fantastical than they really are. Right? Like me going from 2 inches to 11 inches to 12 feet long. And this heavily exaggerated novel ended up being perceived as fact outside of Japan. I think the strong influence of political correctness at the time played a role. But regardless of the reason at that moment, this embellished story was recognized as a historical fact around the world. You might think it's silly, but this story had a huge impact. Yep. In 2021, Yasuko was turned into a Netflix anime based on this fiction. It was even re-imported to Japan. Then recently, experts have seriously started asking, Wait, who's Yasuka really? After investigating, they realized that Thomas Lockley was just making things up. Yep. And where did Thomas Lockley, who wrote the novel, learn about Yasuke? From none other than Wikipedia. Yep. He discovered Yasuki through Wikipedia and thought, what an interesting person. So it might be said that Wikipedia is the root cause of all this. Thus, through the combined efforts of the person who tampered with Wikipedia for 10 years and Thomas Lockley, the legend of the Black Samurai was born without question. This is how everything happened. Jeez. And it looks like uh, no one really thought about who Yasuke really was. I mean, I feel like just from the emerging from the reading text, maybe he just wanted to live his life happy and then uh, peace, you know? I imagine he are more artistic person than warriors. It's really sad he ended up fighting for Nobunaga, but I'm really glad he didn't die for Nobunaga. Yeah, but that's my imagination. That's how I feel about Yasuke. And here is Assassin Creed The Shadows. And the reason why they decided to do use Yasuke as main character is that, according to the, their interview, we are first looking for someone who could be our samurai. In other words, someone who could become our eyes despite not being Japanese. He That's thinks garbage. Japanese samurai is not samurai. It's not your samurai. As yeah, I, it's like, how can I... How can I infiltrate this culture and put in my ideology and, you know, like this is, it's so disrespectful to Japanese culture saying that you guys, you guys aren't considered samurai because you're not my samurai. My samurai is a big black samurai, the BBS, right? And it's just like, it's, it's like they're spitting on Japanese culture. And they're doing it with a grin. You see his grin down there? He's like, yeah, you, I, they, they know what they're doing. Right? They know exactly what they're doing. And they're laughing and spitting on their faces. It's like, yep. And I'm okay with this is because I'm making black people look good. Remember, 400 years of slaves, all right? 400 years of slaves. We got to give them another one. We got we to gotta uplift black voices. According to white people like him, we got to uplift black voices, you know, stop Asian hate went away really, really fast when they found out who most or majority of the culprits were. Majority of the people happened to be a specific skin color. And then they're like, oh, we cannot say stop Asian hate anymore. Jeez. I mentioned in previous video when we protest about it and then there response is basically shut up you yep. are racist this is really the great example of how the marketing dei is actually destroying minority culture destroying this should be stopped really this should be stopped and if you are japanese watching this and if you have a youtube channel please make a video in english there's a lot of videos i'm talking about it and I see a lot of comments and uh, the conversation that's happening. I mean, otherwise, our history is going to be destroyed by this fake agenda. At least in Wikipedia, it's still saying Samurai. And then uh, I really don't think you can learn history of Japan playing this video game. They're calling it learning fantastic time period. I don't think so. So that's it. All right. That's everything I want to say. Thank you for watching. You have a great day.
Yeah, that's a good video. That is a good video. Uh, yeah. Um, I watched his previous video, and uh, I'm gonna g give a guy a g give a guy a sub, man. Uh, he he does good stuff. He does good stuff. And the thing is that, like, for me, I can only I can only read here to Ghana, but I haven't haven't you know really really did Japanese in such a long time, and I don't even know what the hell I'm saying anymore. Is because it's it's, it's I'm, I've been so far removed from, um. What's it called again? Uh, uh, my Japanese class when I was in college. But uh, overall, yeah, I I like this guy's videos. Uh, he does good work, and uh, yeah, give it give him. Um, I'm sure I shared I shared the link with you guys. Go ahead and give him a a sub. And he has a he he only has like five thousand, almost six thousand subscribers. Last time I saw him, I think he had like around like three or four. Yeah, this guy's moving on up, and uh, we need more people like him to speak up. We need be, like the the thing is that I can't really say anything. Is because I am, I am from America and I'm Chinese, so I basically can't really say anything. Is because I don't know Japanese culture, but whenever we see something, and we're like, "Wait, are we wrong for thinking about that? Are we wrong for thinking like this?" Right? And then when e each and every one of the people who are working in the industry are saying that you need to shut up, you need to just listen to what what we're saying is because we are the video game journals. But here's the thing, I'm. I work in the games industry. Like I always say, I've been working in the game industry for more than 10 years now. Whenever I see something like this, I always call it out. But the fact that I need a, like I, I need more education in terms of like people who are part of that culture, right? So this guy, uh, Shohei Kondo, um, did an amazing job. And uh, yeah, I want to see more, more people raise their voices. I want to see more people Talk about why this is this is getting um, them upset. Absolutely right. According to ESG, all Asians are the same. Well, it, according to these people, Asian people are white adjacent.